Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Did you know that Bernanke says there's nothing we can do to help the market? Although, oh, it turned on the news yesterday and they were talking about how we could help, which was go out and buy a new house, go out and buy a new car, go out and buy new clothes. All I heard was shop, 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 shop. Gosh, would that be nice? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, even though uh, even though Obama cannot raise the money to match Romney, and even though the press keeps debunking everything he says, and even though his own supporters are telling him to stop doing it, there's no way on earth the Republicans can win this next election. Ooh. And Obama just happens to get on the kiss cam for the second time, and all it took was 20 minutes to set up the accidental kiss. Oh yeah, during the basketball game, they disrupted the basketball game by removing people from the area that the president and his wife were going to sit in that the camera were taking pictures at, which means they pissed off all the people at the game because they're trying to play a game on the floor and he's upstairs with his, uh, his campaign people setting up a photograph. Oh, which totally distracts from the game. I know, remember, he is totally, he, he, uh, he, uh, basically this is what one of the basketball players referred to him, the asshole in chief is, is causing a problem for us, and get his, and they said, ass out of here. And as soon as they took the picture, he left though, and then they could play the game. I mean, because they, they got- They actually stopped the game during that oh, time? Oh, they're actually, here's, 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 some, here's how some of the players are waiting, you know, some are dribbling the basketball. They're waiting because they're moving everybody out of the stands around him so they can move in the people for the setup to go, you Are know? you serious? Yeah, oh it was, my god. It was god. supposed to be just a coincidence that he's on camera. So because when the president comes in, they can't let him just sit with other people. They got to move everybody they gotta out. They got to have their own people. And they're trying to play a they're trying to play a game, you know, a, 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 a this is the Olympic team. Oh my god. And he's busy doing that up there and they're most of them are black players. They said, "Guess who I'm not going to vote for?" Mm -hmm. This is he just pissed off everybody in the auditorium. And market roars on bad economic news, and no one knows why. Well, let's see. The uh, people don't think that the market, they, they basically, the, the faith in the economy is going down. They told that under Obama, they're going to lose about 700,000 jobs, and that tax is going to raise by about $2 trillion. That doesn't count the money that's being spent on health care under Obama. And the, was it, the durable goods orders are down. Retail orders are down. Everything sucks. But the market's up by. And, and Bernanke said, "There's nothing more that the Federal Reserve can do to help stimulate the economy, and saying? that unemployment is likely to rise, not go down." And they're looking. The best charitable thing they could figure in the next four years, we may grow at the rate of three percent within the next four years. Sometime. That's that's a. And then and the market just went wild on all of that bad news. And business expected to cut and may take more to sustain the market. Well, you know, they're cutting, they decided um, only 11% of the businesses say they're going to hire personnel. But guess who those businesses are owned by and who the president of the companies are? Mm -hmm. They're all government owned businesses, and Obama's the chairman of the board, all of them. So. And Greece must pay suppliers arrears, an EU task force head. And, and they said they don't have the money. They, that Greece is going to default yet again next month, and they're going to have to borrow billions of, I think, what, $41 billion more to cover the defaults, which they said was not going to happen, and it's happening again. Greece has no money, folks, and since they're not making any money, and Europe is in it. Okay, this morning, they made the announcement that Germany has now fell victim to the same problems as all the others, and because Merkel has busted the country, you know, trying to get, Mark, Markle has been trying to do what Germans have been trying for ages, which is to take over Europe. Mm -hmm. It fell horribly because she broke the cup. She, they said, Merkel did what every other, uh, every other premier or president, whatever Germany has done in the last 200 years, blew the company's wealth trying to seize, take control of Europe. And Romney led Bain's investment in firm that disposed of aborted fetuses. Romney basically had no connection with Bain Capital for any of the time Romney, uh, Obama said he was, you know, the very time that he said Romney was exporting people, he was working on the Olympics. Oh, really? Yeah, he was working on the Olympics for three years. 
He quit his job with Bain Campbell to take over as head of the American Olympic Committee. You know, that Utah debacle, that was his responsibility. And malware may knock off thousands off the internet on Monday. It didn't happen. The day's Tuesday, it never happened. But it, it looked good. Basically, it was a false warning by the Obama administration. And San Diego accidentally set off all its fireworks at the same time. I know, they keep doing that. When they Why keep, do they keep going over that? I mean, this happened the 4th of July. Because this is old news. Oh. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> there, if there is no new news, you use old news. And what is old news? It's history. Well, actually, they're probably talking about how not to, to have that accident happen because well, that was pretty disappointing was, to a lot of people. What happened was the people actually paid a lot of money for it, but they, California was massively overcast. And generally, when you have overcast, you don't shoot the fireworks off. But all over the state, they lowered the level of the of the height for the fireworks so that people could see it underneath the cloud covers. The problem was when they lowered the level at San Diego, it set the whole system off at once because oh. it, it just triggered everything. So they got to see a lot of noise. For a few seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I bet it was pretty phenomenal for a few oh, seconds. Oh, they keep running it on a daily basis. It's listed as one of the great disasters in fireworks history. You know, because people are sitting there, Ooh, ah, uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the fireworks display is now over 15 <laughs> seconds in length. I mean, I they paid a lot of money for seats. It was magnificent for 15 seconds. They for were 15 there, seconds. They were there at a point in history. People paid hundreds of dollars to get big, good seats to see that. And Iran says, um, can destroy U.S. bases minutes after the attack. I, I wouldn't bet on the fact that they couldn't because they do have ICBM missiles now. And they have Iranian, they discovered Iranian uh, bad boys from Iran are setting India. They managed to sneak through the security system in England, and they are in England now. And they know they're there. And WikiLeaks has data from 2.4 million Syrian emails. Yeah, okay. The, here's the one thing about this guy that basically, uh, the only reason he's still alive is because he's in England. And he'll never make it back to where he's supposed to be tried because everybody in the world wants him dead. Only the United States and the English are keeping him alive. The Russians want him, the French want him, the Germans want him, the Arabs all want him. He's not on anybody's good list because he's just he's an anarchist. He wants to destroy everything. And P evidence supports the suicide in Arizona courtroom. Yeah, he did it. On camera in the courtroom. I, I, that's, I mean, what? He, he killed himself in the courtroom. They all saw he. I mean, what do you do when you can do nothing but say bad things about Romney? You report news that everybody already knows happened. They basically, it, it, they all know. They got it on. They all they do is run it. Point well, says suicide. And it's like well, yeah, we it, saw. Him. It, it's like they're running. Okay, they're, they're, it, it, this is their version of a magic mic party. Basically, they do the same thing over and over and over and over and over. An Obama team targets Mitt Romney's private finances. I know. They, they, they said, okay, here's a multimillionaire going after a multimillionaire for being exactly what the millionaire that's making the attacks is, a multimillionaire. Brilliant, isn't it? I know. Oh, but folks, all of you Democrats out there that are worried the president will not be president, he does not even have to have one vote, and he will be your president for life because there is nothing in the Constitution for removal of a president from office except for the vote by the House and the Senate. Republicans control the House, Democrats the Senate. If he loses the Senate, he goes. If they keep the Senate, you have a president for life. And U.S. man jailed for translating the Tai King book, Freed. I know. That, well, that's generally what happens bad person in jail you get caught. The rule is that the, I go back to the dirty, I would like this life a dirty dozen. You know, but the guy when Harold Johnson said, yeah, but I I didn't do anything wrong. And and and, uh, and Clint Lee Marvin said, yes, but you got caught doing nothing wrong. Uh, <laughs> and GOP offers health care repeal without alternatives. This was the problem. The GOP has to, get, uh, they're not offering alternatives to just repeal and do nothing else. The Democrats, no less than Nancy Pelosi, says we have to undo this thing. But they don't want to, they don't, they want Obamacare to be on the books. 
but they uh, they want to fix the problem that they caused, but it's never going to happen. If the Republicans did get in as president, it is going out. And the people don't want it. The Democrats don't want it. They're stuck with something that nobody wants because, as they said, nobody read the thing. And politically vulnerable Democrats plan to pay back, plan to back Obamacare repeal. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference because uh, they know that Obamacare can be over, re, overturned in the Senate now because there's enough Democrats that basically are, all, okay, here's a, 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 the weird fact. This year, two-thirds of the people that are up for re-election in the Senate are Democrats. Mm -hmm. And they and there's 11 empty Democrat seats, so Republicans could take a, okay, this is Obama's only strategy for staying president is the Democrats have to take the Senate. They intend to take the Senate by doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? And I'm, oh, it probably works if they just yeah. do nothing. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that you never want to get old because old is when absolutely nobody wants you around.